When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. He cut off the heads of 131. Hey everybody, Jerry Williams, AK Greater Saping here. Thanks for stopping by. And welcome to Eclipse Week. We are one week away from a total solar eclipse here in the contiguous United States, the last total solar eclipse to be witnessed by the contiguous U.S. until August 23rd, 2044. And the very fact that I can tell you that the next total solar eclipse to be witnessed by people in the contiguous United States is evidence of the efficacy of the scientifically accepted model of the solar system. Now, a flat earther may say that there is a pattern to these eclipses, and even before the concept of a globe existed, people were able to predict when eclipses would occur, and this is true. Even now, a flat earther who is familiar with the sorrow cycle would be able to quite accurately predict most solar eclipses' uh, occurrence, but what they would not be able to do is tell you precisely what locations on Earth would see it partially and to what degree, when they would see it, and for how long. In order to do that, you need to have an accurate model of the solar system with precise knowledge of the size, shape, location, and relative motion of the sun, the moon, and the earth. You have to have a model that understands how shadows work with large light sources interacting with smaller objects, creating the umbra and penumbra effects that occur during eclipses. Flat earthers like to claim that the umbra penumbra effect doesn't exist in the real world, but as I have shown before, it does. I am now going to play for you a portion of a much longer video I did six years ago. Some of you might remember uh, the video I put out called 10 Questions Flat Earthers Are Afraid to Answer. Eventually, someone called the Morgyle did a response video in which, while refusing to answer my questions... Goodness gracious, um, why would we waste our time answering questions about your model? He made claims about the Umbra Penumbra effect, which I easily disproved, as you will see. Enjoy. Now, one of the biggest problems with uh, eclipses in general is the uh, Umbra Penumbra phenomenon, where you have essentially uh, pinpointer converging conical shadows coming from you know these spherical objects in space, and unfortunately, nowhere in reality can you demonstrate shadows behaving as such. In reality, an object that uh, obstructs a light source will cast a shadow that is divergent from the obstruction. So you'll have a conical shape that gets wider and wider away from the obstruction and away from the light source. Um, in your theoretical absurd version of reality, you have and you must have shadows which converge into a point from the obstruction, which is the opposite of what we see in reality. You said that the conical shadow of the umbra penumbra effect never happens in the real world. Yeah, it kind of does all the time. When the light source is bigger than the object, light comes around and lightens the outer shadow, leaving a darkened area in the center. I put this little demo together for you. As you can see, the larger light source and the smaller object causes an umbra penumbra effect here. And go outside. The sun, though you think is small, it is actually bigger than every object on Earth. So when you look at the shadows, they aren't sharp. There is an umbra penumbra effect going on. Look at that. I disproved the flathead claim with a desk lamp and a ball of clay. Hell, I disproved their claim by holding a ball in the sun to cast a shadow. How lazy do you have to be as a flat earth scientist not to be able to put a ball in the sunlight and look at its shadow? How many of you flat earthers all these years later still deny the umbra and penumbra effect have actually walked outside and tried it? I'm thinking none. But if you did, you didn't tell anybody because it didn't give you the results you wanted, did it? That's what I thought. Anyway, suck it, Flat Earthers. Peace. That's my job! That's what I do! I don't lose! I win! I win! 
Is there no one on this planet to even challenge me? Maybe you came by to congratulate me on last night's victory. <laughs>